Hello and welcome to the SaltCast. My name is Ryan Johnson and man do I have a treat for you guys today. Um, as you know, you know we at on the SaltCast, we talk a lot about uh, sales tax, the state and local tax. That's kind of what SALT stands for. Um, but we're doing a series where uh, we're talking to people who, who are doing amazing things in business. Um, and we, we help everyone. We, we strive to give everyone the peace of mind they need so they can move on and do what they really want to do. And today I've got uh, Rob Pilecki. I hope I said that right. On with me today. Uh, he is like the king of thrones, right? He, he is the, you know, the founder, CEO, inventor of Washi toilet seat. And I wanted to get him on and really give us his story. Um, so Rob, welcome. Uh, maybe you can introduce yourself. Yeah, Rob. Thanks for, I mean, <laughs> Ryan, thanks for having me, my friend. Um, and, you know, it, it's good to be on the show and, you know, talking about King of Thrones, my tagline is I'm number one. In the number oh two yeah. Business. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, and I'm, I'm posting all of my stuff on LinkedIn. Most of the people see me on LinkedIn. So if, if anyone watching is on LinkedIn, please, you know, follow my journey, um, add me on LinkedIn. I'd love to connect with business pros out there, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, a little bit about myself. Um, so born and raised in South Auckland, oh. New Zealand. I came to the States um, when I was 12 years old. My, my parents moved us to, the, to Hawaii um, and we came with basically suitcases oh. of clothes, had nothing. But my, my, my parents moved us here to, to live the American dream. Um, you know, and, and it's working, right? Um, we have been so you know, fortunate to 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 live the American dream dream to live in America, um, to get the things and and have have been provided with the opportunities to live a good life, and was so so blessed to 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 be here in the United States. So I came here when I was twelve years old. Um, I used to play rugby in New Zealand, uh, and so I never play, played football before. And in ninth grade. <clears throat> the football coach <laughs> recruits me to play football. I'm, I'm 6'2", like 280 pounds, and, and I'm like, yeah, I can be a running back. Right. <laughs> Give me the ball. Like, I, I, I know how to run the ball. <clears throat> so, no, I, but are you going to block? You're going to block with these guys. So, you know, learn how to play football, and I was, then I was fortunate enough to get a scholarship to play for Idaho oh. State University, and that's how I ended up in Idaho. Um, in, in the early 2000s, if there's a lot of Idaho people talk, uh, you know, watching the show, we were pretty good at football. Right now, the program has been struggling, but you know, we won the Big Sky Conference in 2002. Um, we were undefeated in the whole arena. We, were, we had some good days back in, uh, you know, at ISU. And then, um, you know, I met my wife there. Um, I was a football player. She was a big uh -huh. dancer. We, we graduated, uh, social work degrees from ISU, and started our careers in social work. Um, and then I became an elected official in Bannock County in the state of Idaho. So I have been wow. in government basically from, from college to about two years ago, about, you know, 15 years in, in government. And then one day I had the great idea to invent <laughs> a toilet seat. <laughs> hey, listen, listen, I was sitting like, there. I was so glad when I saw this because you know, I'll let you, I'll let you carry on. But, you know, I have four girls and so we stop at gas stations. It's just so nasty. And so we, when we travel, we typically drive everywhere because it's a lot cheaper. We go on vacation. We just bought a portable toilet seat, yeah. you know, and that's how we did it. Oh, man, and so really? I saw your invention. I was like, Oh hey. my goodness. Here lies a genius, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ryan, these are the things you have right. to do for your kids. I mean, you're on the road and, and you have four girls right. that have to sit. There's, there's no, there's no squatting. There's no, I mean, they have to sit. So the things you need to do for your kid and, and really that's how I invented the product. So, you know, I was at my, I was at my desk one day and I, and well, I thought of this situation I was in with my four year old son at the Salt Lake city airport. So, <clears throat> We were at the airport, me and my son, he starts doing the potty dance. He's, he's, he's four years old, right? And um, so we go stand in line and a stall finally opens up and we go into the stall and the guy before us 
had mm-hmm. sprinkled on the seat, right? I'm like, great. So, so I, I wiped the seat down for him. I put some paper toilet seat covers on the seat. And I try to lift him up on the seat so he can sit. And this, my, my son is like kicking and he's screaming. He's like, I'm not, what is that? I'm not sitting on that, that paper toilet seat cover. I don't know what that is. What is that? And I'm trying to put him down and like, he's like almost ready to go, right? So, I, you know, I went and grabbed some uh, paper towels and some soap. And I cleaned the seat down for my son, right? So my son can right. take care of business. Now I had a screaming kid. And now I have this smiling kid taking oh, care of yeah, business and right? like taking a deuce, right? <laughs> and, and so, I mean, I was like, everything in the public restroom is hands-free to eliminate right. germs, yes. except the most important thing. And, and I was like, somebody has to solve this problem. So while I was in office, you know, I, I thought of some ideas and, and um, I was like, you know what? I'm going to invent this thing. And so I invented washing Dude, toilet seat. That is like that process. I mean, I've thought of a lot of different things, but like I have no idea, like even how to get started with like inventing something. Like, what is yeah. that process? Dude, I, you know, I tell people, um, man, I graduated from Idaho State University with a social work degree. I have <laughs> no business becoming an inventor, an actual inventor. Um, when I when I first got my my I have two patents. When I got my first patent from the United States Patent Office, um, I was like, "What the heck? I'm an inventor!" Right. Like I would never have thought in my wildest dreams I would actually be an inventor. Like it says on the <laughs> front, "You you know, congratulations, you what? are an yeah. inventor." <laughs> okay, great. And so, yes. So I tell people, dude, I have a master's at in youtube and google man youtube and google has everything you need to know i started there i started there i started researching i googled every single toilet seat there is to make sure there's nothing like my product i i googled patents i looked on youtube on how to you know design um you know look at cad work uh find engineers find other stories that you know help me on my journey and I, I just started it. It's like it, the simplest thing. You don't, and I, and I, and I tell my kids this now, because I believe it's true. Right. You don't need a degree. You don't need one. You really these days you don't need a degree. You need right. a degree if you're going to be a doctor, like an an engineer. Like if it, if it is like you know a specific industry that you're trying to get into. But if you're in business, if you're trying to just do something, you can just start right. on your own yes. right now. Google. Yeah, so, so that I started that is, way. Yeah. That's incredible. Um, uh, so, like, have you had any, like, pushback? Like, what's been your biggest struggle? Like, this seems like this should be, like, on every toilet on the planet. Like, what's been, the, like, the biggest pushback, like, yeah, yeah. that you've seen? Yeah, so, so it's this this journey has come in stages, right? The first, I would say, four years of this journey was actually inventing the product, going through um, uh, design, uh, prototyping, uh, R&D, getting it out there. There have been so many failures, my friend. I can't believe I'm still going with this thing. I, um, you know, the first four years was the ups and downs, huge ups and downs of creating the product, making sure that the product works. There's sensors in the product. It's the first <laughs> smart toilet seat. I mean, I'll actually give you know give a detailed description of how, how it works. So, basically, you, you grab some toilet paper, you wave your hand over a sensor that's on the side of the seat, and sanitizing foam will come to the surface of the seat, and you simply just sanitize the seat right. before you sit. Right, the most simplest thing. There's basically a dispenser inside of my toilet seat, and and I found a way to get a patent on that. <clears throat> so, my, uh, you know, I, when I got the first band, I applied for right. the show Shark Tank, and I made Dude, it. Dude, Shark I Tank! I freaking made it! <laughs> Out of 42,000 42, companies, I make it down to ninety. They are, they are like we're going over my pitch with the producers, right. buying my set. This is Rob. This is what we're gonna do. Blah blah blah, and um. And, they said, and I, <laughs> here's a funny story. Oh, I no. lied on my application. 
So I lied on my application. On the first page of the sh every Shark Tank application, it says, you are not allowed to run for elected oh. office while on this network. <sighs> and that year, I was running for re-election. Right. But I, I was like, I'm not going to make it, right? I'm not going to make this show. And I made it. And they, so they oh. found out that I, I lied on the application. And they said, Rob, if you want to come on the show, you got to quit your <sighs> job. You, you, you can't run. And so I quit in 2018. I quit my job as an elected official to go on Shark Tank. Oh. And three weeks later, they cut me. Oh. Three weeks later. That was the Golly. first punch in the gut. I, dude, right. I, had a, I had a family of five. I had three kids at the time. I had a good paying job. I, I mean, I had some status as an elected official. Um, I had government retirement, right. the 401k, you know, be, medical, and I gave it up. Right. I was like, screw it. Right. I'm going to be an instant millionaire. This is what I'm thinking. To go on the show Shark Tank, and three mm. weeks later, they cut me and they said, basically, they said, Rob, we found another company that has revenue. You just have prototypes. You don't even have, you know, you really don't have a business yet. And so just keep in touch with us. We're really sorry. It's just reality TV. I'm like, oh, my gosh. So you I told me to quit my job. I just quit my job. <laughs> and so, right. yeah, you, you, they basically told me to quit my job. And I said, yeah, okay. And then they cut me. But you know what? After looking, after looking back, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. At the time, I felt yeah. like, oh, my gosh, I was depressed. I didn't know what to do. I quit my job. But I was like, you know what? Go if I'm going to make this happen, I need to go 100% with Washi because I was mm -hmm. doing it part-time. It was always going to be this part-time gig. I need to go 100% with Washi. So oh. I cashed in my 401k. Right. <laughs> I, then I really went all in. I went and put, it, put in over 100 grand of my own money. And I just went, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make this thing happen. And, it, and then ever since then, you know, it, it, was the, it was the first decision I ever made to go 100% with this company. And That's it was, incredible. It was a I, I mean, that so, is, I think you have one of the most yeah. motivational LinkedIn profiles out there. You know, you just have such, such great stories. And <laughs> I mean, you, you work hard, man. It's obvious. Um, you remind me a lot of like, uh, like Squatty Potty. You know, Squatty Potty got on Shark Tank, man. They crushed it. Yeah. And they... <laughs> so listen to this. Listen to this. So because I got cut from Shark Tank, it was all in the newspaper from St. George to Seattle to Tri-Cities, Washington. <laughs> Elected official quits job right? to take toilet seat run on Shark Tank. Oh. Right? But nobody knew I got cut. Like Everyone thought I was going on the show. So the CEO of yeah. Squatty Potty in St. George, this guy Bernie, he he, he um, goes on my on the Washi website and tries to get a hold of me and he says, "Hey Rob, come down to St. George yeah. for two days. We want to talk to you." So I go, I just like yes, oh my gosh, yes. So I go drive down to St. George, and these guys like they treat me good. You know, they take me out to dinner. Like we go and. Uh, in their offices, they show me the whole thing. I pitch to them, show them the seat, and they're like, "Rob, we love it, man. We oh. but we need we need to take control of this thing. We, you know, you're you're from government. <clears throat> we'll, we'll take. Oh. We need over fifty percent of the company. We'll take control. You can come down to St. George and work for us, and and be a part of this 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 company. But we we need to take control. Right, right. And I was like, okay, okay. I was trying to figure it out, and on my drive back home. From St. George to Pocatello, I was like, you know what? Right. If they yeah. want it, I got something. I got something. They want it. They want over half of the company. They got, I got something. So from that day on, I was like, no, nah, I'm doing it myself. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go yeah. all the way. I'm going to do this thing myself. So, I mean, so many things have happened on this journey. And, and like to get back to your original question, um, you know, what are the humps? You know, the first part has been inventing the product, getting the product out there, making sure it's a good product. The second part and the, the issues that we are going through now is manufacturing, logistics, inventory. I mean, to you know, we, make, we make our seats overseas. It, oh. we, it takes like five weeks just to get here. It took like seven Oof. weeks to unload our container in Long Beach. The pricing of shipping has gone up. Like, 
nine times as much. Um, so we're going through those, you know, right. ups and downs now. But I mean, it's a part of business. Everyone is going. No, I it. totally agree and there. And you know, we talk to you know? people daily. I mean, multiple times. You know, people in your same situation, right? You know, they're trying to run their business, and all of a sudden, like, sales tax is yeah. really, you know, hitting them hard. But, um, Rob, incredible story, man. I, you know, we we know Squatty Potty well here. We're headquartered in St. George, and. And, you know, knowing how big they got, they had an excellent commercial. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm like seeing like your commercial, you know, like, so I, I know you'll be <laughs> successful. Yeah. I know just seeing your LinkedIn profile, knowing you and like, I, you're already killing it. Yeah. So, but it's been, uh, it's been great get to know you yeah, and I, I hope we it, can meet up sometime somewhere. You know, I, I think we frequent some of the same shows down in Salt Lake. So one of these days we'll have to have to meet up, but Rob, thank you so much yeah. for being on the show with me today. And you know, I really hope to see you on another one. 